Welcome to Apocalypse, independent character style, with the battery dying on the flip video. So here we have, nah, fuck, I gotta ditch this one. All right, so we're setting up for Apocalypse. It's gonna be pretty much an all-day event. This is going to be 3,500 points per player, so 7,000 points per side. We have Chaos in the Orcs, which are gonna be setting up on this side there. We've already done the bidding, the so uh, they have gone Put the tax second. Guys below it, so they're in uh, here are the Imperials. The Salamanders and the Blood Angels are setting up to defend the city on the ball. planet Cyclone. And uh, here we have the Storm Shield, Sky Shield landing pad, which offers a 4 plus invuln with the, the sides up. And then over here is the control tower objective, which allows them to call down apocalyptic barrages once per turn. Meanwhile, on the assaulting side, we have the Chaos Temple, which offers a plus one invuln within 12 inches of it, uh, giving units without an invuln save a six plus invuln. And then here we have the Orc so Stompa uh, under construction, right. which is being no, controlled by a psyker who thinks he is the, the son of Gork and Mork, and, and the, he uh, also the, uh, is able to call down a rain of uh, the, uh, the asteroids from the sky, the basically an apocalyptic barrage 3, but it deviates 3d6 instead of 2d6. Their apocalyptic barrage does apocalyptic barrage 2, but only deviates 2d6. And... They both have void shields, so they can't be hit by their own apocalyptic barrages. And that's it. Once we're all set up, we'll film more, and then we'll uh, film at the beginning and end of each round. The green tide has uh, finished setting up here. And let's see, we've got some chaos and the port here. Barrage thing we get from the first turn. We've got yes, you do. And we've got uh, yeah, right the there. whole setup here. Chaos, Abaddon the Destroyer in here, along with a retinue, Karn the Betrayer in here, along with the retinue, three separate demon princes against these, imper against these Imperials, we got orcs here, all over the place, guarding the son of Gork and Mork, Orc Stampa, we've got Chaos vehicles in support there. Over here on the side of the Imperials, we got. You made a whole bunch of bloodthirsty rolls, right? Oh yeah. You made a whole bunch of bloodthirsty rolls on pretty much the blood you red is pretty much fearless. And uh, yeah. And furious charge. And of course, these stoic salamanders, trying to defend the petty humans. Over here. Right. Astrath the Grim. Vulcan's personal land raider over here. With Thunderhammer Storm Shield Terminators? Mm -hmm. There's no Alright. So and the Storm Ravens and. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Death Where's the Storm? Are the Storm Ravens in re reserve? Yes. Alright. And Death Company in reserve. It's gonna be freaking great. Death Company driver. Alright. Let's see how round one goes. Okay, so it's the end of round one. Uh, how'd you do, Jason? We've done pretty much everything important. <laughs> These things deep struck in. Uh, Storm Ravens. Storm, Storm Ravens. Ravens, the Meltas missed. They had Melta, right? That was yep. what you were firing yeah, initially? Totally, totally yeah. missed, totally missed. Then he finally realized that he also got Laz Cannon shots, so the Laz Cannon ended up uh, immobilizing. immobilizing the Defiler. Over here we lost the Demon Princess Slanesh. The other Demon Princess took several wounds. Um, truck. What else? Uh, the truck over here. Was destroyed. The boys got out. Flaka tank was immobilized. Flaka tank over there in the corner was immobilized. Track. What else do we got? Anything else? Uh, apocalyptic barrage took out about eight, nine eight. orcs, and that's about it. A lot of shooting, a whole lot of whiffing. Right. Right. Uh huh. Right. Round. Still round one. Bottom of round one. We're heading into.